Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control, and I am at the Delta by Marriott, and Emma, this was just supposed to be me in the video, but she evidently wanted to run over here and see herself in the movie. But anyway, uh, this is going to be a review by the Delta by Marriott. Uh, I've stayed at two in Virginia. I, uh, For those of you that don't know, I uh, own my own pest control company, Green Acres Pest Control, and I go all over the state of Virginia for bed bugs, so if you need me, call me. But uh, and as long as you live in Virginia. <laughs> um, but anyway, what I was going to say is I am in the uh, the Delta by Marriott at Norfolk right now, and I stayed at the Delta in Richmond a few months back because I, I had to do a bed bug job in Richmond too. And typically, when I go long distance, I do try to get a room overnight. If it's anything more than three hours or so, I usually do, and it's almost four hours to go to Richmond. I mean, not Richmond, but Norfolk. So. Uh, about three hours to Richmond, four hours to uh, Norfolk. So anyway, uh, the reason I'm doing this review is for people who are worried about going to hotels, uh, you know, staying at hotels, worried you might bring uh, roaches or bed bugs or something like that home with you. And I just wanted to do a quick review. The Marriott, I mean, the not the Marriott, but the Delta by Marriott is actually a really nice uh, hotel. You pay for it. It's, um, if you have pets, which I do, um, it's $75 a night, uh, $75 a night, $75 a, stay. $75 a stay for the dog. And so we only stay typically one night. Uh, that's pretty steep for us. Now, if you were going to stay for like a week, then yeah, it would probably work out all right. Um, there are other, and you can hear her kind of whining cause I think she needs to go outside. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, the, um, the hotels are really well kept. They're very well taken care of. They all have bags and stuff around their mattresses, around their box springs. Um, they don't have any sign of bed bugs at all. This is the second one I've been in. I've never seen a sign of bed bugs in them at all. If you're worried about uh, carrying bed bugs home with you, I would recommend staying at a Delta. They are they're really really top notch. They're very comfortable beds. Um, they've got you know they're like this one here has an internet TV so you can watch YouTube Netflix different things like that it's really nice as far as amenities the one thing I will admit though they do have a pool but they don't heat it uh, at least if they do heat it it's like 56 degrees or something it's really frigid very very cold um, I mean there were kids in the pool swimming but I don't like real real cold pool make me kind of talk like this so anyway uh, so I don't recommend it if you like a pool or a hot tub. Uh, the last one we stayed at in Richmond, the hot tub really wasn't heated very well at all. It wasn't a hot tub. It was a lukewarm tub. It was actually uh, pretty chilly. If you sat in there long enough, you'd start to get cold. Um, but then if you got in the pool, it was like jumping into a cold, a cold ice water or something. It was really cold. So I don't really recommend it for those who like a nice, warm, heated pool. Uh, they do have exercise room and stuff like that here, and it's not too bad, but... Um, when it comes to, like I said, a heated pool or anything, I've, I've really, I've, I can't harp on it enough. I really like a heated pool. So, but anyway, so we didn't go swimming. Uh, we just kind of just came up and lounged around in the room. Um, I hooked up, I have a little, uh, NES classic. I hooked it up to the TV. Uh, it's got a really easy to, <laughs> to hook up your, <laughs> your HDMIs and stuff like that. So you've got kids, if you play games or something like that on the TV, then, then yeah, you can. Uh, it's really really easy to use. But as far as bed bugs, they're great. They're wonderful. Um, I can actually see. I'm sitting here in the chair right now. I can actually see signs that they have used. And here I'll show you real quick. I don't know. You may not be able to see the little bit of dust there along the baseboards. Um, they did use a dust, so they may have. It might just be preventative. It doesn't mean they've ever actually had bed bugs. But just so you see, the beds have these uh, bags on them like this. It's like a burlap almost. It's really nice, very, uh, and and it's not, it's not an actual bed bag. It's uh, it's actually a like a fitted sheet, but it goes in about three inches in, so it covers all the way around the whole box spring. If the bed bugs were to crawl up, you would see the markings on the the bag they use to cover the box spring. No signs of bed bugs at all in the box spring. I look before I stay in a room, and that's what I would advise you to do if you go to a hotel before you bring your things in the room always check your beds like i just showed you down around the corners and stuff always check your beds check for signs of bed bugs if you see the little black smears on the side of the mattress you know there's bed bugs in the uh, room don't stay in the room 
go down, demand another room. If you have to bring them up and show them the room, show them the room, say, no, look, this is signs of bed bugs. I can't stay here. It's not worth the thousands of dollars it's going to cost me to get rid of them myself. So <laughs> hopefully this has been an informative video. I, uh, if there's anything else you'd like to know, uh, hit me up on Facebook, Green Acres Pest Control LLC. You can send me any questions you may have there. If you want to know anything at all uh, and you don't want your name to be broadcast, you know, uh, I do live streams on uh, typically on the weekends if I have time. I've been pretty busy, like I said, usually when I travel abroad like this. Sometimes I have time to do one, sometimes I don't. I didn't have time this weekend. Sorry about that, y'all. But uh, hopefully if you, like I said, if I can, I can get to your questions as soon as I can. Like I said, if you don't want your name broadcast, send it to me over Facebook. Twitter, you can tweet me pictures. I, uh, you can also send me pictures through my Facebook, and I can try to identify them the best I can. So you guys have a really great day. Appreciate it, and uh, don't let the bed bugs bite.